so I've been seeing on some vlogs about um, people talking about the little quirks that come with their illnesses, like little things that they do or little things that make them anxious. So I thought I would share a few of mine. Good morning, internet friends. How are we doing today? How are we, sassy girl? You doing sleepy? How are we, boys? We're doing playtime. So, happy Sunday. Um, though it will be Monday by the time you guys see this, so happy Monday. Um, right now I'm about to binge watch me some Voltron. Yes! Oh my gosh, I want to get through this so bad. But I'll be sad once it's over. Um, I'm thinking about later today maybe taking MRL to Tractor Supply and doing some training. We'll just see. Oh Lord, I really need to keep up a log, like update his log on training. I don't think I've done that in a little bit. So there you go. And here's you some whiny noises. The wild wimes in their natural habitat. I swear this could be like a nature, like a nature history channel type thing. Discovery, that's what I'm thinking. Discovery channel. The wild wimeiners in their natural habitat. Notice the way that they like to fight each other. We got one that approached us. Let's see if he's friendly. Is he friendly? He's not sure. We have a younger one. It's fluffier. I wonder why. It might be to protect him from the cold temperatures. See if we can touch it. It lets us touch it. Oh my goodness. And yes, I know that it was a very crappy Australian accent. And I was... And yes, I was trying to like channel in my inner Steve Irwin. Thumbs up if you know who Steve Irwin is. Rest in peace, Steve Irwin. So now I'm going to binge watch me some Voltron. And I'll check back in with you later. Hey guys. So I probably look really red now. I usually look orange with the light. But now that I'm on my red sheets, I look red. How exciting. Can I not look like my normal color? Which is Lord knows what. Um... I don't know why, but I'm suddenly really exhausted. Um, I think I'm more just like mentally exhausted because this morning I got really upset with MRL. He was laying on my bed and then just out of nowhere peed. Like didn't even try, like, he, you know, dogs have their way of telling you that they need to go outside. And a lot of times I'll admit the bathroom incidences are because I've ignored it because I was tired. So, I know, that's my fault. But he didn't even give any sort of warning or anything, just peed. And that made me really mad at him. Um, so, there was that. And then he pooped in the floor downstairs. And my automatic worry is, is he regressing? Am I doing something wrong? Because, like, if I take him outside, he... Like, he won't always poop outside, which is annoying. I don't know what's going on, but I guess that was part of it. And then I finished season two of Voltron today, and my emotions are just, why, creators, why did you do this? Obviously, I won't spoil anything for you guys, but I was not very happy. And then just... I also got the vlog up while watching Voltron. I hear dogs. They come back to me. They were hanging out downstairs. Um. I don't know why. I just. I don't know why I'm so tired. After watching Voltron. And then I was starting to watch Slice of Lime. 
No, not Slice of Lime. Fry Life. I will be watching Slice of Lime today, though, and now I'm watching Days at a Time. Yay! Um, which, by the way, you definitely need to go see and subscribe to Fry Life, Days at a Time, and Slice of Lime. Go! Um, oh yeah, and I also got a new cover photo made for my YouTube channel, for Facebook, and Tumblr. I used to have a Twitter. I don't anymore. Because I just never used it. <laughs> um... I had another thought. What was it? Oh, yeah, and I added photos of MRL onto my Facebook page, which there's a link down in the description below. Woo, there's a finger. Yay. Which has the link to my Facebook page. Um, I have two albums for him. One is photos of him in training. And the other one is, like, just general photos of him being him. So, yeah. That's what's going on. I hear the dogs outside my room. I really want to take MRL to tractor supply for training. But, I know last time he did not have an accident in the store. And, luckily, the manager at the store said, you know, we're prepared for this. Because dogs are here all the time. So, but that requires also getting dressed. Um, so, I don't know. I just do not feel like I have a lot of energy. I don't know where this energy loss is coming from. But, there you go, there's life. So now, I'm going to continue watching vlogs, let my dogs in, and I'll check back in with you later. Buddy, here. Let's not drop the reindeer. Here, get it, get it. <laughs> Knock on wood. This thing has survived since Christmas. I am impressed. Unlike the lettuce that didn't even survive a month. Uh oh. Uh oh. What happened? Wow, get it. Get the reindeer. I just wanted to show you guys a clip of my boy being so cute. You're so cute. Hey guys. So there's Emeril. Now he's playing with The Rock. Dwayne The Rock Johnson. One of the most beautiful men in all of the world, I will say. <laughs> I call a lot of men, whether fictional or real, beautiful. Oh well. I think you guys have mainly heard of The Rock, Loki, and Shiro. But I mean, do you blame me? Oh, and don't forget the, one of the most important ones, Chris Evans. Yes. But anyway, um, so I've been seeing on some vlogs about um, people talking about the little quirks that come with their illnesses like little things that they do or little things that make them anxious so I thought I would share a few of mine um so far I can mainly think of like I think about three but watch if I just keep rambling on I'll maybe remember more or remember less so I've got just yeah we'll say about three that I can think of um and they're in no particular order. The first one I can think of is schoolwork. If you guys have been watching my vlog long enough, you know schoolwork freaks me out a lot. Um, I have had panic attacks just by looking at school notes. Just looking at it. And then panic attacks while trying to study them. And also homework, and God forbid I take a test. <laughs> um, I don't know what it is. I think it's mainly the whole, um, so a little bit of background on me that I've actually shared this in therapy before, so here you guys get a little therapy session yet again. Yay! Um, so I've always grown up being the smart kid, and in middle school, I actually got made fun of and bullied if I got answers wrong. So now my brain cannot handle the fact that that's happened and freaks out. If I'm doing a test 
or studying or doing homework because I fear getting things wrong and that the world's going to end or some bull crap like that. That's just what my brain does. Does it make sense? No. But does it happen? Yes. Are you having fun with him? You're shoving the rock into the crack of the couch while chewing on his leg. <laughs> Somebody needs to send this video to The Rock. He has his own YouTube. And be like, look, you're getting defeated by a puppy. Oh. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry, still got the cough going, but otherwise you could tell I sound a lot better. Um, the second thing I could think of is crowds. I hate being in crowded areas. No matter if the space is open or closed or what it is, I hate being around a lot, a lot of people. Because my one thing, I'm really weird about being around strangers. He dropped the rock. There's the rock. See? The rock. Make up up. Ooh. He only gets this toy when Riddler's not in here. Because I want this one to last. Plus, this was your first public access toy. So, there you go. And there's a squeaker in it, but he hasn't been able to figure out how to get it to squeak. So it's a little quieter than the reindeer. Um, but, like, if I get into a crowd, um, my mind goes into overdrive. Automatically, I'm thinking, okay, well, how would I be able to escape if start having a panic attack, if something happens? What if people get too close to me? Because I've started to get weird about personal space. Um, I think everybody has a discomfort with personal space, but I've been getting weirder about it. Um, sometimes I don't even like people I know being very, very close to me for some reason. Um, so I don't like crowds. I always think that I'm going to get trapped or that I won't be able to escape or something like that. Another one, which kind of falls under the category of crowds a little bit, is being around strange men. And I don't know where this came from. Because I've not ever had a traumatic experience with any male, ever. But, like, if I happen to be somewhere and there's a man I don't know that is behind me or in front of me or, like, anywhere within my vicinity, I'm freaking out. Um, probably because my guess is through the media... You see a lot about women getting kidnapped, raped, killed, you know, that kind of thing. And I'm so terrified that it's going to happen to me. <laughs> now, of course, first thing I think of is, okay, what do you remember from self-defense class? And if I'm walking to the parking lot, I always have my keys between my fingers, kind of like all, like, um, Wolverine. I almost called him werewolf. No, he's a Wolverine. <laughs> And especially if there's a man behind me, it freaks me out so much. Because I always feel like I'm going to be touched inappropriately. Um, or that my wallet will be taken out of my pocket because I tend to keep it in my back pocket. Um, so definitely one of the things MRL will be learning is how to do blocks and covers. Which, from what I've seen a lot, is mainly done with people with PTSD. But I... I'm just like, you know, I can't stand the thought of someone being really close to me. Then again, I also get worried about cover because, you know, people could start petting him and I don't know about it. So I've been thinking, is there a way that I can train him to alert to me when somebody pets him? So that I can turn around and be like, you know, don't pet my dog. Clearly, dog is working. So... Yeah, those are a few of my anxiety quirks that I can think of. Um, the joys of generalized anxiety and panic disorder. Yay. Um, I know at one point, whenever I was at the mental hospital when I was 14, they thought that I was agoraphobic or agoraphobic. It's one of those. But I don't think that's the case because I'm like, um, I was 14 in a hospital, and yes, I was freaking out because I'm 14 in a hospital. <sighs> so, yeah, those are some of my anxiety quirks. And the reason I share them is because, 
you know, a lot of the point of this vlog about why I do this is to connect with people. You know, so if somebody's watching who's going through the same thing and, you know, I start talking about XYZ, whatever anxiety thing, and they're like, oh my gosh, I relate to this. I've actually had people tell me this. The I remember one specific person who flat out was like, the thoughts that you were vocalizing were exactly what was going on in my head. How did you get in there? <laughs> so, I share these things to connect with you guys. If any of you guys feel the same way or similar, you know, you're not alone. Here's another person who is just as freaked out as you are about things. We can all just be huddled and freaked out together. Does that sound good? Yeah, that sounds good. I'll bring a cuddle buddy. He hears his brother. Oh my goodness. But I don't feel like opening the door. Emeril. Hey. Hi, sweet boy. Look at those fluffy ears. This will also be great for, like, alerts and DPT. The fact that you are fluffy, I think that's going to be very helpful because I really do like some tactile stimulation when my anxiety is going crazy. So, yeah. It's raining right now, so I don't think we're going to tractor supply. Which even then, I'm clearly still in my pajamas and I don't think I really want to get up, honestly. Hey guys! There's Emeril! He's wanting to eat my hair for some reason? There's Sassy Girl. And there's Mr. Riddler. Or there's his shoulder. Riddler! Hey. Hey, what are you doing? What are you eating? Oh, you're playing with Darth Vader. <coughs> so, what has the evening been? I've mainly watched YouTube videos, um, went through Instagram, apologizing to everybody because I don't like things as much. Not that I don't like them, it's just I don't actually go through and, you know. Well, bye. Are you trying to take Darth Vader? Are you trying to take him? So, I'm, I don't remember if I mentioned this earlier or not. We ended up not going to Tractor Supply, especially since it's storming now. So, there's that. And I ended up watching... <laughs> Guys! Really? You're being rude. Yeah, I'm calling you rude. Both of you. And I was watching Magic School Bus on Netflix. Thumbs up if you remember the Magic School Bus. I loved that show. And it's still one of my favorite childhood TV shows. Next to Rugrats. Um, but now, I've got essential oils going. I've got a rude dog. Riddler. You're going to live, I promise. Oh, and also Riddler had a lovely ingrown hair, but he willingly let me get it out. Well, whether willingly or not, he didn't try to bite me, he just kept licking, but you know, he got it out and it's not as painful anymore. So, now I'm going to sign up for the night and head off to bed. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've had a wonderful day or night, rain or shine, whatever the world has for you today. Alright, Sassy, what's the question of the day? Yeah? Okay, I like that. So, question of the day is, as when you see this vlog, just comment down below what kind of weather you have outside. If it's sunny, if it's snowing, if it's raining, whatever. You can be as detailed or not detailed as you want. Barking whinies. Like, for me, right now, it is raining. So, put your answers down below and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye! Good night, Sassy. Good night, boys. You rotten children. Ah, leave it. Good boy. Sweet dreams.